right, all set up. Now we just got to see how she holds together. Really, as you've seen, it took, what, five minutes? And it's got a beauty little shelter. I'm really liking this. All right, well, I'm Wild Willie. Welcome to another edition of Wild Willie's Wild Outdoors, or Adventures, or whatever you want to call it today. I, uh, you seen a second ago there, I set up a top, uh, I'm going to get into top camping. It's, uh, I've been watching a lot of videos online, uh, different top methods. There's a whole bunch out there using ponchos and tops. A lot of the guys use an 8x10 top. Uh, this one's 8x12, and uh, I like it. It's got room for two people. I got this design sort of uh, a mixture of a couple videos I watch. Uh, there's one guy on uh, YouTube, Cryptic Cricket, and uh, Organ Mics, I think they were, and they set up different uh, different things, so I just thought I'd give it a go today before I uh, spend the night out here. Uh, this is nice. It's uh, There's lots of room in here. Very simple to set up. Um, there's, it's well big enough for two people in here, no no problem. Got the tea boiling. Um, this here, it's very simple. All it took was uh, six tent pegs, a top, and, uh, well, your hiking stick. I don't use a traditional hiking stick. I use a, a Fiskars edging tool because it can extend up to eight feet, and uh, the top comes off here. And you can store whatever you want in there, emergency supplies, flashlights, whatever you want. Nothing in there right now. Um, but it's it's a useful thing and I use a bungee cord just to tie me off to the tree But really I could have stuck that in the ground. It would have been good enough So I like this design a lot. It's uh, it's handy and uh, If you wanted to raise this pole even more these side flaps they could close right in and you could tie them off on the front and be totally enclosed in there I mean granted you'd have to shrink it in a little bit. It might be a little tight on the on lengthwise from lying down but uh, it would still do the job for one person it's plenty good two people this is great like this if you had a small fire out front here somewhere and had a a backstop there to bring the heat back in you could sleep out here all year round it wouldn't be too bad at all so anyways we're calling for a lot of rain today and uh, I picked today because there's uh, I don't know if you can see up there in the trees or not but it's some high winds blowing around they're about uh, gusting up to 70k so we'll see how this holds up. I'm going to spend the afternoon down here in the rain and in the wind and see what happens. Just hope no trees fall on me. Well, like I said, this is uh, this turned out to be all right. Uh, I got the wind to my back. If I was uh, had a had to face the wind and set this up, well, obviously you wouldn't. But you could always do it. You know, at the edge of two trees and build. Uh, build a makeshift wall in front if you didn't want to enclose the sides here you want to keep a fire going for the heat this is nice it just rained like hell a few minutes ago and I uh, despite this little rip in this top part of the top it's a used top I invest the the under twenty dollars for a new one but uh, yeah this would be alright if uh, you insulated the ground a little bit better you know I got a cheap little thermo blanket here right now but if I had my uh, thermo pad on there or uh, some palm boughs or some hay or something or uh, it'd be good sleeping here in the winter I think uh, next time we're, we're down here doing our winter camp I think I'm gonna opt not to use a tent for the night and uh, try this out and see how it works because I'm really impressed with this setup the wind was blowing this thing ain't moving and like I said there's plenty of room for two people in here no problem or one with gear anyways it's uh, it's a beauty little setup it's uh, no more packing uh, the top or no more packing the poncho in the the bug out bag for sure I'm gonna lighten the load quite a bit by removing some of that stuff and just having a top even the, even the tent pegs you don't need it's it's you can make tent pegs out of sticks that takes you know 20 minutes to make enough tent pegs type thing you know so this is a good shelter so I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend this one if you want to try some top camping you should really give it a go. Find out online. There's lots of videos how to set up different configurations. We'll find one that's right for you. Go out and give it a shot. And if it works, try sleeping in it one night. So this is beauty. All right. I was thinking now uh, how I'd heat this up at night in here. Get a little bit of heat in here. Uh, I didn't close up the entrance, but what I did do is, uh, you can hang a candle lantern in here, I guess, or run your little stove in here if you had one, or a candle or something like that, as uh, long as you had enough ventilation to keep out the condensation. But anyways, what I did is I uh, got a fungus. You, you see them growing all over the side of trees, not the soft ones, but they get really hard. 
on the dead trees and all I did is hollow out uh, a two inch circle in the middle and then I went around to different uh, pine trees and spruce trees and all I did was uh, harvest the uh, the dry resin, the pine sap, the dry stuff and so I uh, put that in the middle and uh, lit it on fire and it's burning, it's burning for about 20 minutes now I guess uh, we're looking at it, I'm probably going to get another 20 minutes out of there, maybe 30 minutes, so close to an hour of that burning. I mean, it provides light to keep away the boogeyman if you're down here at night or camping out at night if you had to, and uh, also provides a little bit of heat. I'm sure you could set a couple rocks on either side of the flame there and maybe even boil up some water. Alright, I'm Wild Willie. Thank you for watching another edition of uh, Wild Willie's Wild Outdoors on a little bit of uh, top setup for top camping. Anyways, I gotta get back. The day's getting light. Got about an hour of daylight left. Still got a ways to go to the truck. So, anyways, I'm signing off. And remember, keep your head up in the bush. You never know what you're gonna see.